Beloved class of 2021, I stand here in awe of you. Right now, this celebration is what Benedictine nun and spiritual writer Joan Chittister would call a firework moment. Your accomplishments both within and outside of your fields of study extend far beyond formal measure. There were likely times leading up to this day when you felt broken or without hope. There might have been times when you could not imagine how to find your way through to the end. And yet, here you are, a fuller and deeper you. Although this day is not what any of us thought it would be when you began this journey, even if bittersweet in part, it is a day to be cherished. You are to be cherished. In the uncertainty, in the hard work, in the failures and in the thriving, you have persisted through it all. And today you must allow yourself to simply sparkle. And now my beloved Yale family, wherever you might be, I invite you to join me in the spirit of prayer. Almighty and loving creator, you are the force that lights the stars, the architect of every cell, the source of all truth. We look to you as many expressions of one living mystery, a mystery beyond all telling. In this moment, we are people grieving many different types of losses and our hearts beat with the rhythm of lament as we cope with emotions too complex for any of us to fully understand. We who share this beautiful but aching world, we who look at the same sun and the same moon, are a people called to communal restoration. As students of your handiwork, we gathered at Yale from throughout the earth with exquisite ambitions and have been blessed at this place of light and truth with the freedom to let them grow. Our God of all generations, you are the guardian of where we are going and who we are becoming. We are filled with gratitude for our families, friends, teachers, and guides. Their arms have sheltered us, their shoulders have boosted us, and today their hearts are holding fast to us. Bless us as we seek to reimagine a world made better by the considerable gifts we will now bring to it. May we exude an intelligence that is inspired by justice, guided by tenderness, moved by holiness, and always informed by love. As we greet tomorrow, steady us on solid ground, and together may we become vibrant, living examples of shalom, of salam, of shanti, of peace. Let us say, Amen.